map could look like just using all of our data. Um, and this is that MXD. Um, if I just turn everything on so you can see where we are. Um, I'm going to turn off zoning and flood zones and soils. And you can see we're looking at the, the, one, the 363. Um, uh, you can see the, um, the street names look pretty good, uh, which is just coming from the, the center line of the road. Uh, we had the crosswalks in there, um, and the contour lines like super light gray on top of just the gray parcels, um, <coughs> and basically it always looks nice if you just for any type of pavement that's different. You just do dark gray for one, light gray for the other, lighter gray for the other, you know, and just kind of mix up grays. Um, but this kind of a map is um, like the quality that you get uh, on any typical parcel map. And all it is is, um, you know, these buildings, you know, you can try things with an outline and without an outline. And sometimes they look a lot better without an outline. Um, you know, you can see our parking spaces in here look great. Uh, and our driveways just, you know, kind of gives a real, like, detailed feel on the map. Um, I will show you how I did the the streets, uh, street labeling. It's it's pretty. You can come back and watch this video again um, to do it again. But there is a labeling toolbar which you can turn on and off. Right click up here, and once you have it open, there's a couple options for labeling. Um, if this isn't checked, this use Mapplex label engine. You just go on and check it, and then you have all sorts of extra options. Uh, it used to be that they charged an extra, you know, 20000 a year to be able to use this thing, but then they just made it free for everyone, uh, I think, because everyone started stealing it, if I recall right, um, and they just gave up. Uh, so anyway, and now it's free, and you just turn on the school bar and go select it. Uh, and once you do, when you go to the, um, the center lines, and you go to the properties and you look at the labels, the way you get to all the labeling tools is uh, clear. I think everybody knows the, the symbol button will get you to actually editing what the, the text looks like. And then the placement properties is where the good stuff is. So um, if you look at the placement properties without that Maplex labeling engine on, you'll see it's just pretty simple um, labeling options in there. Um, but the, to do a road in that looks nice, you can do uh, you can pick in here street placement, and you see they have options. Um, actually, I was looking for position, and you can see you can kind of put it off the road, but I like curved on the road, right? And then the other uh, thing that that helps a lot, um, you can see a lot of other options here, but the density. If you do repeat label and you tell it to repeat the label, and then you tell it. Uh, every three inches or a couple of inches, you know, you can imagine what the map's going to look like, um, and it will run off of like, you know, in the layout, it's a two by three foot map, um, so it knows every three inches is going to be, you know, about this far apart. We'll put another label for a road automatically, um, which with that nice curvy, you know, line looks pretty good. Um, and those are the only settings I I put on there. Um, just to mention, sometimes if you label things, um, it won't show up. And that's because it has all these rules for uh, uh, label this thing first and make it a priority over this other thing, and then make this other thing a priority over this other thing. So it gets very convoluted, and sometimes you will see that they just don't show up. So you have to go in here and click Never Remove um, in order to be able to see what all the ones that aren't showing up are. Uh, they'll just show up on top of each other, but at least you get a better idea of kind of what's going on. Um, so those are the main things in there. Uh, the other thing to know is if you do uh, this symbol, you can see the symbol looks pretty good right on top of that, um, the roads that John did, because the outline is the same color as the road. So when you get to the edge, like this O, it blends into the side. Oh, yeah. Um, like here, you can see it pops up over the road. 
and it blends in because it's the same color. It looks like it's kind of, um, I don't know, it's just a funny effect that is pleasing to the eye where you can really read that label, but it blends into the background, but yet it's separate from the background at the same time. So the way you do that is um, you go to that symbol button, this button, and edit symbol. Uh, let's start with a regular text here. Edit symbol. And then this mask button is a good button. Um, it'll add color around your text. Um, so if this didn't have a halo, you would pick halo. And then it gets a little tricky because uh, you got to put the black color on the, on the outside as your halo. And the halo doesn't need an outline. See, then it turns all black. But then if you change the, this color, it'll change the text, the actual text. Um, and then once you get something like that that looks pretty good, you always just save it so you can just pick it right off the bat. And then um, you can just use it. And it'll have a nice label every now and again. Um, so let me just save that so 